Aunt Patty's on the Square. Park County's oldest antique mall with 22 years on the southeast corner of the square. We have 25 dealers who take great pride in stocking and maintaining their booths. In 7,500 square feet, you can find almost everything from the smallest pen knife to great jewelry, vintage coins, sports cards, dishes like grandma had, all the way to a large piece of furniture. We're open seven days a week. Our hours are Monday through Saturday, 10 to 5, and Sunday, noon to 5. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Thanks for coming. It's been a busy week. Lots of, lots of stuff going on. Cindy uh, Todd is keeping us going the right direction, I think. So thanks, Cindy, ahead of time. Appreciate that. Many, many things in the air at the time. So let us get going here and we'll see where we are. We have two sets of minutes to approve uh, for June 20th and then uh, last week's July 5th. Yeah, and Bruce wasn't here on the 20th, so I'll make a motion to approve the minutes for June 20th, 2022. And I'm second that. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. And then we need to move for last week. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes for July 5th, 2022. I'll second that. All in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. Approved. All right, then we have payroll. The amount of $196,133.38. Okay. That's it. So, public motion of reapproved payroll in the amount of $196,133.38. And I'll second that. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed. Okay. All right, then we need to acknowledge the receipt of the payroll claims accounts payable report, and that amounts to $93,104.29. And I'll make a motion to acknowledge and receipt of the payroll claims, the amount of $93,104.29. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. And I think everybody here understands how that works and why we do that, yep. so we'll just let that go. check for the computer Harris computer system for six hundred twenty nine dollars and seventy one cents. I make that motion we approve the anti check for six hundred twenty nine dollars and seventy one cents. And I'll second that. All in favor say aye. Okay. And we have a request here from the planning commission for an ordinance. Um, proving a phase one plan of the Evans Estate subdivision. It says Nick's going to talk about it, so what you got? Well, oh, it's your, that's I why you're sure. here. Okay. She's so here, so. Or not. So, this is 
the plat of phase one. <clears throat> how, how many phases are we talking about? Two for sure, possibly three. Name of the states. Is that the name is campground? Yes. Okay. Campground is gone. Okay. This was basically the right land closest yeah. to the water, I think, was phase one. Okay. Oh, yeah. I thought you were in Do you see it yet? He had originally... Then it was campground out on the other side of the lake there. Eight lots, but he changed it to seven. Either each of those lots is an acre or more. Yeah, I think two of them was too a little tight from the old one. And right. He worked it out so everybody had access. So just creating new, new plats with new yeah. uh, descriptions mm -hmm. so they can sell them individually then? And yes, and uh, Chris went in and wiped out all of the addresses at the request of Chuck Jackson. Uh, I believe the roads are going to stay the same, but there will be new addresses assigned okay. as those lots are sold. Okay. And is there going to be an HOA or anything? Yes. Okay. Covenants and restrictions are... Do we need to approve any of that stuff for the HOAs or anything? Mm -hmm. okay. And he did this on Mylar, so I need your signatures on the Mylar, and then Laura has the hard copy okay. of the ordinance. Okay. So, we just need a motion then. Do we need... If it takes an ordinance, do we need to have time for an ordinance, or can we do it now with the same day, same meeting? I did the, the motion to adopt same day, <clears throat> okay. same meeting. We need, we need us to sign yeah, on this? Yeah, so I need your signatures dated today, and your signatures, and then Laura to attest. Okay. So, what's your wishes, guys? I have no problem with it. That's what Dan's heard all of it, probably mm -hmm. anyway. So. Yeah, I, I think it's a good thing. Trailer's all gone. So I'll, I'll go ahead and make a motion. First, I'll make a motion to adopt this ordinance same day, same meeting. And I'll second that. Okay, and then the second to adopt the web norms number. What is it? It's going to be 182206. Oh, I have the hard copy for you. Yeah, she has the copy for okay. signatures. 202206? Oh, mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so um, Dan made the motion to approve the motion. Number seven. Okay, 2022 dash 06, same day, same meeting. All in favor say aye. Aye. All right, then is there a motion to adopt the ordinance? Yes, I'll sir. make a motion to adopt the ordinance 2022 20, 6. And I'll second that. All in favor say aye. Aye. Okay, so then we need to, if you guys don't mind, see you come over here and you sign this fancy thing here. This is the 18th day. Yes. of July. And I'll sign the top that way and you come down and you won't mess with me probably. It's the first one of those I've seen. That's the way they did it. Interesting. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the first one I've ever seen. I would use you that's how they bought it. But on that, on that material, mm -hmm. that, well, really, I've never, I mean, we've never had it dealt with one of those before that I know. Yeah. Okay. And we need more to get on that. Over there, cast down the bottom there. Just put it here. Shouldn't show you the whole thing. Stuff under this. Hard to see. Yeah. It is. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we have a contract in front of the surf from SRI. 
It's fine. It's standard language. It has an opt-out period, too, with notice. So. And it's normally the same one that we do each year in order to have the tax up? Yep. And it's pretty standard with all the other counties to get the same one. Yeah. Is there a motion to approve? I make a motion we approve the contract for SRI for the sale. I'll second that. Move second to adopt contract for the sale for the tax sale with SRA as we've done the past uh, on Fairside. Yeah. Opposed? Okay. 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 Um, I've got a few things to do business here. Let's uh, cover those real quick. Um, Don's been talking with, and I've been talking with Don, with the, uh, uh, with the Veterans Service Officer. We'd like to clean up the uh, Veterans Memorial on the northwest corner of the square. There are two wooden posts on the ground that have flags on them, and they really are tripping hazards. There's just four by four posts that are stuck on the ground each side. You'd like to remove those and figure out some other way to do those two little flags that are on them. We could do that, but I didn't want to tell them it was okay without your approval to take to pull those posts out. And the Veterans Service Office was fine with removing those two wooden posts. It's just two wooden posts on the ground with a, a small American flag stuck, stuck on it. So you're okay with taking those down? Yep. Okay. The other part of that is to clean, uh, I like to clean the memorial. I've done some research on that. Uh, it's a brass plate, of course, a big brass plate. I, I can power wash the, uh, the stone, whatever that is, if it's concrete, I'm not sure what that is, the sand so I don't want to know, but they don't recommend any chemicals on that. They also don't recommend any chemicals or brush on the, uh, the brass plate, but some soft, uh, soft brush uh, with uh, some mild detergent first to see how, if that brings it back, which it probably will. But I, I would rather do that myself than have somebody come and, and do it. Uh, they said, you do not power wash the brass plate, you'll have swirls all through where the, where the power washing went. So if it's okay with you guys, I'll uh, power wash that. Uh, I have no problem with it. I'll start off with a small corner of it to see how the soap I have, whether it be Dawn or whatever it will be, and uh, see how that would do on cleaning that, and you can go from there. It'll be a, it'll take a while. We'll, we'll get there then. Uh, we have a contract that I gave you copies of there. Um, we met with uh, Chris O'Brien and uh, Rand Cleaver and I met. We're making the change over course to the different emails and different uh, websites as well. This is to move, migrate the uh, uh, emails. It's a, uh, a one-time cost of nine thousand. 
417. 417. And then he rec his recommendation was the number two option on the front page of Matrix there, which is the Microsoft 365 Business Basic, which is $6,000 a year, then or $510 a month. So that was his recommendation. So I want to take a minute and look at those, see what you think. But we And that will be ongoing, then we'll have a plan in place as we get new computers moving on. Well, there's now. And I've talked with Roy already with the, with the and, and John Pratt with the council. We're going to have costs now that we never had before. We're going to have to have licenses for all these things on a yearly basis. Emails are going to have to have a cost on every email every year now from going forward. All this, all these will be stored in the, in the cloud, of course, and, and, uh, and it's just a cost of business. That's the way it's going to have to be. Any concerns, Nick, on that? Contract at all? No, I have no concern. I asked Roy about creating a line uh, in the commissioner's budget for this new IT stuff, these new costs. We already have a line in commissioner's budget for software and services. Uh, there's money in that. It's nothing that we ever spend out of, but I know it's used sometimes for some claims, and Laura would know better than I certainly. What mainly comes out of that, that line? Uh, my kid took five out to go look for those. Okay. The issue but is, I did set up a new line for IT services today in the commissioner's it, line. It's in the commissioner's line? Okay. In the commissioner's line, so then when he does the budget, okay. we have a new IT service line underneath the commissioner's fund. Okay, because that's why my suggestion to Roy was if we do it that way, put it under commissioner's budget. Uh, he was going to look at doing it just, I think, in a general fund budget, but it made more sense to me to have it, since it involves contracts and purchases and services, that we should have to, under our line, since we have to approve all those anyway. Chris had the concern that, uh, uh, of course, additional appropriation is always concerned. Um, being the military guy that he is, of course, he expects when you get a budget, you live in that budget, and that's what that budget's for. But we move money around all the time in the county. Yeah. So, yeah, where if you need something to go to the highway department, for example, it may come out of commissioner's services fund. They just reappropriate that, and it's, it's, uh, it's confusing. I think it's frustrating to him as well, but it's just that's just the way counties operate. It's just the way it is. And... Uh, so um, Roy is fine with money. He understands that they're going to spend money that haven't spent before, and we just have to where we're going to put it. So since you already got a line created, then maybe the council will go along with that and putting it there. That way, we can have contract uh, have a, uh, not control over spending the money, but we know where it's all, it's all congregated. Was the way where they use with Roy. I want it all in one place when we see what else coming out here. Because I think probably we've had some IT costs out of various various lines and various places throughout the years. A lot of those, I mean, it's rainy day too. Yes, right. and, and, and the big thing is rainy day is going away, of course, so we've got to find some place to, to do that. So it makes sense to me, if it makes sense to you, to have a line in the commissioner's budget for the, all the money to go into and all the money to come out of for that type of thing. So, so you okay with this contract then? I didn't have it. Yeah, and it's, it, it, you know, it's, we, it's we don't have to have it. Yes, we're going to have to. So I'd make the motion, I'd I, I, I make the recommendation, I'd make the motion that we go along with the recommendation to the IT uh, director, Randy Clear, that we uh, engage with Matrix and uh, go along with the Microsoft 365 Business Basic at a cost of $6,120 a year, but we pay it monthly at the rate of the lower one of $510 a month. And I'll also include then that we approve the Matrix for the one-time cost of the setup of Nine thousand, you could say fourteen. Four seventeen fifty. Okay, nine thousand four seventeen fifty. I see that page. And I'll second that. Okay, it's been moved and second to approve the contracts with Matrix Integration at the request of the IT director. Um, all in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed. Okay. To just for a second to jump back, kind of rattle my brain here on the courthouse. I ran into Jeff Cooper during the fair, and he said his cousin is up here from Florida, going to be up here for a while, and he's done uh, business and professional landscaping all his life. He's an architect, and he said to mention to you guys that his cousin said he was willing to help Don and volunteer his time to do landscaping at the courthouse oh, if they wanted anything done while he was Oh, he was here, and he's going to be here for a while. So Jeff said to have Don get a hold of him. Okay. And then and he would like to help him because he said there's several things they could do. Okay. If you're going to let, let him know that I'm fine with that, if you're fine with that. 
you would just need to let uh, Carla know. She has a volunteers list, so you would be covering our insurance okay. in case there was an issue. She would just put him on the volunteers list, and you just need his name. So I'll just meeting. get with him and have him get with Don. And, 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 and have, have Don, Don, Don will help with around there. Yep. Okay. Sounds great. All right. Um, I have something else here. I'm assuming that uh, Randy will have a better copy than I just have this for the contract so um, if he does have um, I'll go ahead and sign a paper contract of it since we approved it he's just got a, got a place there where it's accepted by I will sign that but if he has a different one I can come in and sign that, that one, as well yeah, yeah. Yeah. To next week. so we've approved this so I will just go ahead and sign it that's okay with you guys date accepted yep. today and then we'll just if we get a better one we'll, we'll do that that they will do the commissioner services that we'll get on one of those pages somewhere. It's got a description on the front page there. Page one of client responsibilities. Yes. Which, which one did I hit? It's page one of five, two of five, and okay. three of five. The other two were the other other part. So I guess I'll just sign this someplace. There's no way signature page for it, but it shows what we're getting for what we're purchasing. Yeah, copies of the Oh, yes, there is. Up the top of the front. Yes, there is. Up the top. Okay. Um, we already uh, talked about the bollards that we were requested before uh, to approve the bollards that the Vermont County is going to buy and put on the walk bridge at Montezuma and we thought that should be their expense and it is because we have access to our part of the project for our ambulance so that's okay and then that's that's all I got then all right um, old business uh, I know Nick is still working on and I've talked with Nick Napier he's going to send a contract to uh, uh, to Nick he, he apologized he thought that uh, uh, I guess he didn't realize he needed to send an updated copy of it. So that, that's probably what he sent you before. So corrected. we have it, but it's Laura has it in her email. Okay. I don't have it in my email. So okay. But, so I make a motion. You said you'd already looked at I it. I looked or? at it. Yeah, I just didn't print it. If you remember, we did we approve it before, and, but you were going to get the. You approved signature pending my review, so it just requires signature. Yeah. Now. So we don't need to prove okay. it again. We already have. We just need right. to sign it. I just hadn't seen it yet. And yeah. Okay. We were just waiting on a. On a re reprinted. Uh, so he has to stop by Lord's office. Yes, and correct. Sign. Yep. yep, I can do that. Okay, do you guys have any old business? No. Okay, let's get right at it. Then Justin not here. And uh, just so you know, somebody in this room got a piece of great cobbler a while ago. Not to mention John Martin's name to anybody. Just so you know, he was the one whining about not getting any cobbler, so I brought him some. So you're in good shape now. You're on my list. We yeah, have a thing. We do have a thing that he needs. Uh, if you remember, uh, we we okayed him buying a camera at the cost of uh, between five and six hundred bucks. Um, so to better project, I think particularly the audio is what we were talking about. Particularly, I think one or it's a, or the camera as well. Both. It's the. It's the. It's both. Okay. And so we approved that, but then um, we had the discussion of whether it was whether he was going to own the camera or whether we were going to own the camera, and then uh, we couldn't front him the money without without purchasing it, without approving a specific uh, check for that. So he sent me a message today. So I am assuming, and correct me, Nick and uh, Laura, if I'm wrong here, I'm assuming that since we have a specific number, we can go ahead and approve an out of cycle check for that amount, and then he can deliver that check to them with that. That the way that will work for you. We might mean, check you the company. We need a claim before we can do that. Okay. Well, I, we have invoice. a copy of that. Yeah, we have an invoice for that. So, um, I'll see um, if I can send that to you. How now. much is it? All right. I tell you here in just a moment. Because we've only got five hundred dollars that line. We have five. It's five hundred forty-five dollars and fifty-two cents for the order okay. order total. Five hundred 
Five hundred and what? Forty-five dollars and fifty-two cents. So I'll have to find the rest of it. So the, the company move some money around in for the forty-five fifty-two. That's not going to be a problem. I can okay get the money in that account. Okay. Um, this email doesn't have a name of the company. Who do we make the check to? So you're going to make the check out to oh to Amazon. Oh, I thought you were going to make it out to me and then. It helps us pay for it. And I was going to put it in my account and order it. Okay, I'm okay with that. If you guys are okay with that. So we just need the uh, the uh, copy of the invoice here from Amazon to Laura before she can give you a check for that. Would it be easier if I just go ahead and buy and put on my credit card and then just re reimburse me for it? Is that yeah. easier than doing that other stuff? That'd be, That'd be better. That'd be easier. Why don't Why don't I just go ahead and buy it and uh, and then uh, when I get the get the invoice from them, then then I will uh, bring it to here and they can just write me a check for it. John just didn't have a credit card to do that on, so that's what it's why. It's, it's been um, more of a challenge for me than otherwise. So with your permission, then I'll just go ahead and purchase it on Amazon, put it on my account, and then uh, we'll just give a check to me. And then then we'll, commissioners, I'll put it in the commissioner's name, so we'll open the, the uh, camera that will stay here, and then he'll use it for these meetings in this location. All right, I'll take care of that. So I'll get with you after meeting. Get, okay. You don't have time to meet tonight, right? It's just the first Monday you have to bill. Oh, you do have yeah. one too? So you may have to leave for that? Okay. Yeah. So we'll get together with that then. Okay, Randy. How are you doing? We're doing good. How are you doing? All right. Chip seal done? Yeah, I just got two uh, full payment ones on 100 North to do. Great. Everything working yeah. okay? Yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. And Wednesday, hope you get started paying. Super. I'm excited to get that done. So I just took care of all my business. Okay, it's easy. I like, I like that. Uh, I do have a contract for you to sign. Okay. It's our contract with Milestone. Okay. Um, At, with the new numbers? Yeah. 173,000 a mile instead of 100,000 a mile? Well, uh, yeah. I'm it, just has, it just has a total number. Yeah, okay. And I forget what that was. I think it was 170,000 a mile. I don't remember what the total number was. But I remember Dan figured it was like 5.7 miles now instead of 10 yeah. they were getting before or something. Yeah. It's in here somewhere. I won't do uh, It's for the total community crossing? This would be yeah. nine, nine million something? Nine hundred thousand. I mean nine hundred thousand something? Yeah, well, it's over that. It's a million something. I forgot now. Oh, there we go. A uh, million one hundred fifty-seven thousand six hundred seventy dollars and ten cents. That includes our match. I won't put that on my credit card. We'll go ahead. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Have uh, John advance it and we'll reimburse him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll do that. And this is a contract that we've made up. Yes. So Nick's already looked at it. Okay. So this is for the spending of this uh, last match here uh, uh, with uh, that we got the money from. Uh, a milestone and our match went into it. The total cost of the job that we contracted for was the number that Randy said. Well, remember what page you found that on? There it is. One million one hundred fifty seven thousand six hundred seventy dollars and ten cents. So I'll make a motion we approve the, the agreement with the milestone contractors. And I'll second that. All in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. No. And when will this work be done? Well, I, we put in there after August 1st. After August 1st of this year, yeah. okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thanks, sir. Mm -hmm. That'd be great. So you're looking to pay from, uh, us pay from Strawberry Road to Bloomingdale. Mm -hmm. And then, and then Golf Course Road from BDL Road to 41. Mm -hmm. How long did it take to do that? Well, it'll be done probably two weeks, a little less. Okay, great. I drove the other day just to see how it was. I went to Sylvania, I went up, and I came all the way from the county line south. And that'd be a nice, nice road all the way mm -hmm. through then, so that'd be good access. Good. Yeah. That depends on the, all the trucks. 
Stay I have a request. I don't know that will impact you, but just to let you know, I got a request from the sheriff. Um, the AI uh, camp out there asked that we close the road, um, FC uh, road there, camp road, on uh, um, August 15th for 45 minutes, 9.45 to 10.30, just so they can have a group hike down that road and back, I guess, so they can all go together and have an have a event. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I don't see that. Do you have signs that you could put up showing that it's only 45 minutes closing? Say it's going to be closed from, say, 9.30 to, to 10.30? And mm -hmm. Yeah, we put signs up. If we could put them up a few days ahead of time, that would let people know that if they went to town and they came back, it's going to be closed at 9.30, they have to find another way around. It'd be pretty tough to find another way around if you live in one of those houses on FCA Camp Road. Mm -hmm. You're all the way up around Weapaco or whatever that is and all the way around there, so it'd be tough to... Oh, the hole. They need it from 47 just to the FCA Camp. Just to the FCA Camp. So there's only a couple of houses there. That's not much. Almost two houses, yeah. High towers, or yeah. used to be. And, yeah. And then. And I'm not even sure that that would road. have to be closed at high top. That that um, oh, Matt, um, what's his name, former student lives there. I'm sure they. Where could high get tower in. lived. Yeah, oh. they they could surely get in and out of there. Who lives in the old in the house that used to be the director's house up there? On the I road? don't know. That'd be the only one I'd be concerned about. Mm -hmm. But you got people living on beyond there, they can't drive through, they'd have to come in from the other side. That's a pretty long trip. That's around. not one of their people that lives in the brick house anymore? Maybe. I just don't know. I, I don't know either. But there are houses beyond that, you know, the Tag House and all those people on, on beyond the FCA camp, yeah. camp road that they wouldn't yeah. be able to get through for forty five minutes either, so we just need to get signs up, let them know it's gonna be closed. Yeah, they'd have to but that's closed. That would yeah, be closed uh, from uh, nine thirty to ten thirty, probably be sufficient. So if your guys are, if Randy's okay with that, the sheriff's okay with that, then I'd make the motion that we authorize uh, the highway department to close uh, the FCA road from State Road 47 to the campus for uh, uh, the time period of 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. on August 15th. I'll second that. All in favor say aye. All right. Okay. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Now, what, what, what the date on that? 15th. August, August 15th. It's Monday. Okay. From 9.30 to 10.30. Okay. That all you got for us? That's all I have. Should eat good. I have one question. Did you happen to get a hold of that guy at the corner of New Discovery? No, I haven't. Okay. I've been on the chipper and everything, and I haven't had a chance to. Okay. There was another question I did have for you, though, but I didn't write it down if I did. Nope. Don't know. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Randy. Have, have a good evening, everybody. Uh -huh. You too. Any comments from the public that we can hear in the public? <laughs> no? Cindy, nothing? I mean, nothing really new. Just an update on the website as we worked last week on, you know, any final questions with the credit card processing. Um, Randy has the information now to install the new swipe devices and the URLs and things to get that going. Um, there's a couple department heads that will need to do like a test deposit into the appropriate accounts. Um, once that is completed, then we'll be able to switch or plan on a date to switch things over. I have a question. Chris is of a different opinion. Not my <coughs> My understanding, and it doesn't matter, I'm going to change anything, but my understanding was once we signed up with the state and got on their website and their services, that we would also be covered then under their ransomware and malware insurance, or is that just for the website itself? No, the, the only thing that the website allows is it is a secure website, so any transactions that are done are locked down okay. by okay. the state. It does not make us eligible for their insurance or ransomware okay. program. Okay. That is something we have to do separately. Okay. And we'll be eligible once we do the email conversion. Right. And once we get the MFA done, then we'll be yes. we'll be okay then. I, I was just thinking that we were eligible then to be on their program. Yes. So I have to find your own. Okay. No, they don't allow that. I don't know why you're that one away. I know we were covered. We did purchase uh, IT insurance. We did uh, 
um, have that. And then one year during renewals, it wasn't there anymore because the company had changed. We weren't eligible because we didn't have the multi. And that was just last year. Was it that first year? See, that's what I thought. I thought we'd always had it before that. We've I always, thought we had George it. has always okay. provided that on the That's right, because I, I was that sure really we had explained that to yeah. us. So yeah. last year was the only one because we weren't compliant. Right, and we can't get it to what Randy has us on now. Uh, Great map. Great, yeah, great map. You can't get it there, so we're kind of stuck in the middle there for a while. We were, we're okay because Randy to make sure things are going to the cloud, so it's all retrievable if we have to, but that doesn't mean they can't do other things besides that. So, so as soon as we get this, what we just approved, that, that will get us to the point where we'll have, and it's not multifaceted, it's multi what? What's the other word? It's an F word. A yes, word. <laughs> it is. Multi factor. Factor, multi factor, where you. You get a code sent to your phone, whatever, then put that code in so you have more than one just a password getting And that's not every time. I mean, it's an right. occasional check right. that it right. asks for that. But it allows, what the website transition allows for is an authentication because you do have to go through the Access Indiana for us as administrators or anybody going in right. and making any changes right. to the website. Right. It protects us from that part kind yeah. of getting hacked. Emails, I think, require the MF, the multi, yes. I think. But they all do now. Any, any transaction doing online, you got to have them all. You get a code sent to you onto your phone anyway, so it's just nothing new. It's just another thing dragging us along as so we're in there. I have nothing else. Do you guys have anything else? Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Yeah.